First indicator where investigators are looking for the person who set a dog on fire. This information just coming into the newsroom. DeKalb County police say a large male Labradoodle was spotted running along Lindsay Drive engulfed in flames last Sunday. Witnesses reported seeing the dog between 10 a.m. and noon before putting out the fire. The dog survived but is still in critical condition. Crime Stoppers is offering a $2,000 reward for information leading to the arrest and conviction of the person or people who committed this cruel act of violence. A desperate search right now for two drivers who hit and killed a man last week in Lawrenceville. Gwinnett County police say 55-year-old Julio Sandoval had been crossing Singleton Road near Thompson Parkway when he was hit by two different cars. Both drivers took off. A witness only saw a red Toyota sedan stop and then keep going. And with concern growing over the new Omicron COVID variant, health officials are now reporting a rise in flu cases. Data from the Georgia Department of Public Health shows about 59% more flu cases this year compared to the same time last year. The most affected age group, kids four and under, they make up nearly 40% of the 17,000 flu cases in Georgia so far this season. Well, we did have a very mild flu season last year, uh, probably because of all the uh, social distancing and masking measures that were taking place last year. Dr. Skornick says he expects flu season to peak around January or February, and he recommends to get the flu shot.